It's the moment everyone's been waiting for. Or at least anyone who's ever skied the Valley Blanche in the last 10, 15 years anyway. Montemurs Murder Glass has a new gondola. The days of having to walk up hundreds, maybe even thousands of steps to reach the gondola are a thing of the past. The gondola station is now right down by the ice. And while yes, the ice is receding, and there are still some steps to get up to the gondola, there's only so far the ice can recede now before you're at the valley bottom anyway. So there'll only ever be a maximum of a few tens of metres of steps to have to vertically get up to get to the new station. So that's a va vast, vast improvement. So the gondola opened this week, I think it was Saturday the 3rd of February 2024, and as you can probably see, it is still a building site. It's far, far from being finished. Indeed, I don't think the entire complex as a whole, top and bottom, is due to be complete for at least another year. But it is running and it is open for skiers who have just done the Valley Blanche, such as myself now. So it's currently open between 10.30 and 4 to get back up off the ice and it's also open for alpinists to get down onto the ice between 10.30 and 11.30 every day. Of course, once you're down here you can get back up at any time, but yeah. It's not yet currently open for tourists or general members of the public, so I don't know how they're going to be checking if you're an alpinist or not, but I guess if you've got an ice axe strapped to your bag and you've got some kind of proper mountain boots on, they'll let you on. So in theory, unlike the old gondola, this should be reasonably future-proof, because as I've already mentioned, we are virtually at the bottom of the valley now. The ice at this point is only a few tens of metres thick, so even when it's completely gone, you're not going to have to walk down too far to get to the valley bottom, and then you'll just have to walk up the valley to get to the ice. So while this environment is changing rapidly and every year is different and yeah, obviously we're losing the ice more and more year on year, you'll be able to get down to the bottom of the valley and then with a relatively short walk you'll be able to get onto the ice at least for a few more years to come. And then at least when all the ice is gone you'll still be in the beautiful valley and be able to take in the scenery and, and enjoy whatever activities the future holds down here. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. I'm going to grab my skis and put them back on and let's go have a look. So as you can see, there still are some steps to get up, but it's what, 20, 30 metres of vertical height to gain from the ice to get to the station at the moment, so yeah, vast improvement. And I've skied right to here, so you can, even in this year's lean snow conditions, you can still ski virtually to the bottom of the stairs without having to take your skis off, so that's a really good sign too. Looks like they've recycled and reused some of the panelling and the metalwork for the staircase and the handrails, etc. So that's great news, obviously using less resources, creating less waste as well, so yeah. Definitely pleased to see that. The building itself, while well, far from being finished, it's definitely quite futuristic. It's a bit of a, well, I guess you'd call it a pod or a tube. Anyway, let's go have a look inside. So this is the new gondola cabin. Very plush, very comfortable. Ten seater plus standing room. So the old gondola could fit maybe six to ten people, but crammed in, standing up like sardines. So yeah, much more comfortable, much more spacious. And of course, well, it's not glass sided, per specs, but effectively 360 degree views, windows in all directions, top to floor.
super quick as well. We're approaching the top station already in what's been maybe a minute, two minutes tops. So yeah, up and down on the ice really, really quick, which as well as meaning you can get many more tourists up and down to the ice in the day, it also means potentially you can get more laps done on the BB as well, because if you're from the ice to Montenver in two or three minutes, it could be at least time for one extra lap, if not two. So eventually there'll be a new restaurant and a terrace, etc. under here. I think that's due to open in 2025, so another year away yet. But yeah, what a pleasant experience. I'm definitely glad that's open now. It makes doing the Valley Bunch so much more enjoyable. And what a great day for it as well. <laughs>